Okay, so I'm gonna keep it really, 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 really real with you guys. And I'm not doing this because I'm hating on anyone or trying to be negative at all. Um, obviously, I did this song with Slap and my fans loved it, Slap's fans loved it. And it was a collaboration that I was really, really proud of. However, um, a lot of stuff happened behind the scenes that you guys would never even know about. But because I've been asked so many times about this, I might as well just be honest about it. I'm not trying to hate. I have nothing against him. Um, I guess it's just how him and his team do business. We were ready to film and everyone was ready. And I mean, Slap and his team made their demands. They said, Slap needs to have a makeup artist on set. He needs to have, um, uh, what is it, a stylist. We need to have this, that, and the other, clothing, this, that, and the other. Um, and then we paid for, obviously, the whole cost of the video fell on me and my team. So locations, everything fell on us. Transportation, everything. We used different locations. We had to pay each location as if we were using the location for a full day. And um, we... We did all of that. We met all the demands as far as I knew. And we had set a date, had the customized clothes. Guys, when I say the customized clothes, and then I had to go to the tailor and say this and this and this. This is the picture of what he wants. I did all of that. Mm -hmm. And then um, we are all me, videographer, makeup artist, stylist. Everyone is basically at the set, right? We're now waiting. And I get a phone call from my manager. And he says, oh, Slap isn't going to come. And I'm like, what do you mean he's not going to come? Like, are you joking? And I actually laughed because I was like, you're, you're joking. I know you're joking. And he was like, no, 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 I'm not joking. He's not going to come. Um, because basically someone from his team, from his management team or whatever, basically in a roundabout way said, well, we need more money to show up. And to me, that's crazy because we had already paid him to actually feature on the song. The video cost was falling on, on me and my team. We paid for absolutely everything. And then at the last minute, you say, well, we're not going to show up because we need a bit more extra money to show up for the video, which you're not paying for anyway. You haven't had to pay for anything, but you need money as like encouragement to show up on set. And why I was angry was just because I felt like you could have told me that a week ago. You could have said that two, three weeks ago. We've been talking. You've been sending me, this is the outfit we want. This is the, we need a hairstylist. We need this, we need that. And today, when we're waiting for you on set, now this is when you're gonna say that. So I was in a situation where we've already paid for the locations. We paid as if we were having a wedding. We've paid for the locations. I was in a situation where it was like, I'm going to disappoint some people because it's not my fault. Like, I can't now go and chase this person around and say, ah. Like, it was just a situation where he then had some other program. I, I literally messaged him at that moment. I called him as well, and he cut the call. I didn't get an explanation. I didn't get anything. Then, what made it even more awkward was yesterday when we were filming at Diamond TV and at Hot FM, he was there both times. And we're like, hey, cool, how are you, da, da, da. But there were a lot of people around, so we couldn't have a proper conversation. But took pictures together, all that kind of stuff. And he was like, oh, so did you manage to do the video? And I'm here like, really? Really? So I didn't think that was professional. I was disappointed. And I know a lot of people are disappointed, but I think that I owe you guys the, the truth. It is what it is. Um, I can't take the blame because it wasn't my decision. Um, and yo, I mean, we had some funny, some of his team, I don't know. I think, I don't really think it's him. I think it's the people around him. You know, it's like, oh, you know, so we can get a whiskey, so we can, and I'm not, these are not stories that I'm making up. I've got receipts, I've got messages, I've got, I've got all that stuff, but I'm not bad mouthing him as a person. I'm just telling you the truth of what happened. Yes, I was disappointed, but we went ahead. We did the video because we paid for everything. People had left. People had canceled jobs to be here. People had booked us into the locations for that set date. 
you know, I would have then had to start arranging, okay, when's another date when you're not going to be using this venue for da 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 da. No, we're not here for that. So if you're a professional, you show up because you said you're going to show up. If you can't show up, you tell people in advance. And that's just how it goes. So I'm